Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of foreign body impaction within the scrotal skin with granuloma formation. A 33 years old male patient came with left hemiscrotal painful swelling for 7 days. Unfortunately, he didn't give us any history of trauma. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here we have checked the testes. The right and left testes are normal in size, shape and position with uniform ecotexture. No abnormal collection is noted surrounding the testes. Bilateral epididymises are also appear normal. The pampiniform plexus of veins are not dilated and both inguinal canals appear normal. Now let's check the bottom of the left hemiscrotum where we have seen the swelling. You can see an irregular hypoechoic area with a central well-outlined linear echogenic focus. This echogenic linear structure is of sharp margin. If you check carefully, there are some reverberation artifacts casting from this structure. The surrounding hypoechoic area is having ill-defined margins. You can see a very thin amount of anechoic collection entered to this echogenic focus. So this structure is a foreign body impacted within the scrotal skin. Here you can see the transverse section and still you can see this echogenic focus with some reverberation artifacts. The surrounding hypoechoic zone is also well visualized here. Here again we are seeing the surrounding hypoechoic area. There is no communication with the scrotal cavity. Here we have put the color Doppler and you can see there is prominent vascular flow towards this hypoechoic zone. This type of dilated vessels supplying the hypoechoic zone represents the inflammatory process. You can see this hypoechoic zone is having a very good amount of blood supply. Usually scrotal skin doesn't have this type of high vascular flow. So this linear echogenic structure with surrounding hypoechoic zone having increased vascular flow suggests it as a case of foreign body granuloma. Usually wood and glass particles show this type of sonological features. Unfortunately, our patient didn't give any history of trauma. But in our practice, we commonly see patients try to hide history regarding genital injuries. Here is the picture, you can see this hyperechogenic linear structure with adjacent thin fluid collection and surrounding ill-defined zone of granuloma. Here is the measurement of the granuloma with the central echogenic foreign body. The structure is of around 6.5 mm length and 0.3 mm width. The surrounding vascularity is well seen here. It is situated around 8.5 mm deep to the skin surface. We have checked the spectral Doppler from a supplying arterial branch and you can see it is showing a low resistant flow with not a high peak systolic velocity which is a very common pattern in case of granuloma. So in summary, a well-defined linear echogenic structure is noted about 8.5 mm deep to the skin surface of the bottom of the left hemiscrotum. Irregular ill-defined hypoechoic area is noted surrounding this echogenic focus. Color Doppler shows increased vascularity within and towards the hypoechoic area. There is no testicular or epididymal abnormality. So this feature suggested as a case of foreign body impaction within the scrotal skin with surrounding granuloma formation. Now the take-home message. In case of genital part lesions, patient history may not be always satisfactory. So, what you see may become more important than what you hear. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.